Everything Wrong with Season 1, Episode 3, The Experiment. It seemed like any other day. Little Jimmy Kratman was playing with his football, like always. Then suddenly, it happened. Saw little Jimmy Kratmer again. I swear, everything happens to poor little Jimmy Kratner. I would say they're obviously exaggerating with the alien story because, you know, they're kids, but. Let's do this! I'm TJ. That's Vince, Spinelli, Gus, Gretchen, and Mikey's on the raft. Wow. That's a weird story, all right. Uh, that's not so weird. I heard about a guy who all he would eat is carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots! Then one day he woke up, and he was totally orange! Hmm, sounds like someone else we know. Fact check, the carrot thing is actually true. Carrots contain beta-carotene, and too much beta-carotene turns your skin orange. This medical condition is called keratinemia. Keratinemia. That's nothing! What about the kid who got braces on his teeth and started picking up radio stations? He got news, weather, and sports every six minutes! Alden, it's Nina. Did I catch you at a bad time? It's okay. Or the kid who got stuck under a moving train, and when they found him, all that was left were three fingers and a very flat piece of bubblegum. Good night, everybody. Ha! You kids make me laugh. Aliens, trains, carrots, that's kid stuff. I could tell you a story so terrible your teeth would curl. Butch, is that you? What happened to your hair? Had me a scare. Rhyming. I'm scared of likes of which you kids will never know. Tell us about it, Butch. I would, if I thought you guys could handle it. We can handle it, can't we, guys? Yeah, yeah sure, sure, we, we can. can. Of course. All right, but it's not a pretty picture. Not a pretty picture at all. It all started on a normal Saturday afternoon about a week ago. Just kidding. It all started on a normal Saturday afternoon about a week ago. Like always, I was down in the basement spying on my big brother Joey. No way that could end badly. <gasps> That's attractive. Closer and closer they came, their faces almost touching until, until, until they kissed! Christy, what happened to your lips? No! I would pay to see what happened after this scene. How did Joey and Christy react to Butch's screaming? The audience needs to know. No, it can't be true! You're making it up! I wish I was. Good sweet Mike, I wish I was, but I'm not. That reminds me, where is Mikey? Joey kissed that girl, and what's more, he liked it. Sounds like Katy Perry ripped off Recess. I kissed a girl and I liked it. I liked it. Now you're getting ridiculous. At least our stories are believable. Yeah, Butch. See all this stuff? Swing set, jungle gym, sandbox. Well, they're the past. Guys, I've seen the future, and the future is girls. No! Boys kissing girls, girls kissing boys, girls kissing girls, boys kissing boys. And you know what else? We're all gonna like it! You make that sound like it's a bad thing. Ew! <laughs> Spinelli's teeth are missing. Boys kissing girls, girls kissing boys. Surely there must be some mistake. I mean, this defies rules of nature and physics. You sure about that, Gretch? Besides that, it's disgusting. But Butch said it's the future. His brother Joey told him. Have their parents never kissed in front of them? And apparently Gretchen doesn't bother delving into biology books. Oh, please. The day I stop caring about dodgeball is the day the Earth starts spinning around the sun. What's the correlation between stop caring about dodgeball and kissing boys? Also, it looks like they didn't finish the outline of Spinelli's left eye here. Which explains the D-minus she got in science. Oh! 
That is a burn! You don't miss a beat, do you, Gretchen? I don't know, you guys. I've seen it in lots of movies. Mikey, how many times do we have to remind you not to tell anyone you watched that mushy love junk? I know, I know. But it looks kind of sweet, and the guys in the movie sure seem to like it. That's called acting, Mikey. Right. It's not real. Like when a guy jumps out of a helicopter and doesn't get hurt. It doesn't happen like that in real life. Well, maybe you're right. No, come on. I'll cream you in a game of dodgeball. Gretchen, are you okay? It looks like you're shaking. <laughs> Interesting that Gus is playing dodgeball here when he has a traumatic past with it, as we find out later in episode Dodgeball City. Also, Gus is moving at lightning speed. Let's slow it down. Boys kissing girls. I'm going to pause this so we can all enjoy this moment. <laughs> um, Judy, weren't you just sitting behind TJ? Reminds me of this gem. Boys kissing girls. The future, the future, the future. It can't be true. It just can't be. Who knows? That's the problem. Who knows? Where's your watch, Gus? Only one problem. Well, what's that? Who's going to be the guy and the girl to do it? Well, it's got to be one of us. That's the only way we're going to be able to trust our findings. Then I guess there's only one way to choose. The straws. <gasps> oh, there it is. Now, does everyone agree to the ancient right of the straws? This appears to be taking place after school. I guess their parents aren't concerned they haven't come home yet. Carry on. Looks like TJ is mirroring Spinelli's crossed arms. To live by the judgment of the straws, to be bound by the decision of the straws, and to never back out no matter what the outcome? Okay. You may be onto something there. Okay. Well, Spinelli, you had a 50-50 chance there, so... Come on, Vince! Anything you want! Money? Gold? Tennis shoes? Can't help you, man. Bow the straws. <sighs> I'm calm. I'm cool. All I want you to do is one thing. What's that? Get me out of these things! TJ has Vince, Mikey, and Gus to hold him back in case he runs. Spinelli has Gretchen. The chains were needed. Also, Spinelli sounds especially like Bobby Hill here. That's my purse! I don't know you! I'll give you my entire collection of Maniac Man comic books in mint condition! I already read them. Good question. In fact, where did that lint roller come from? Did Gus bring it to school from home? This is a crime against humanity. I mean, why would I want to kiss him? He's my friend! Correction, your special friend. Okay, one last thing and you'll be perfect. A little lipstick. Touch me with that and I'll break your arm. Spinelli's white blouse disappeared. What about my reputation? No decent kid will associate with me after this. I will. Of course not at school or anything. Hey, you gotta respect the guy for being honest. But I do wonder about that big smile he's got going on there. an impressive feat, even for Upside Down Girl. But what exactly is she hanging from? Would there have been as big a turnout if the kiss was between, say, Gretchen and Gus? Speaking of which...
even here by the cafeteria. While we're on the subject, where are the trash cans by the dumpster the kindergartners popped up in? They're missing in this first shot. Here we see Mikey and Vince bring Spinelli over to TJ's right with the cafeteria ahead. And now everybody is flipped when they turn to look towards the cafeteria, which did not have the trash cans anywhere in sight moments earlier. Or for the rest of the episode, for that matter. Or five here. Okay, maybe 15 if you count the Ashleys in Miss Furley's class. Saying the Ashleys usually indicates all four of them. Guests said they're in Miss Hurley's class, which is mentioned again in episode The Great Can Drive. However, early in this episode, we saw Ashley Q and Ashley T. Well, isn't this something? Here we are, sworn to a vow of silence, and I'm the only one who doesn't go blabbing it around. Frankly, I'm ashamed of you guys. Hey, Mikey, thanks for the tip. Sorry I'm late. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not doing this with every kid on the playground watching. But inquiring minds want to know. We must continue the experiment for the good of pure science. Um, Gretchen, how far are you willing to go for the good of pure science? Asking for a friend. Fast forward to high school for part two of the experiment. Stay tuned, folks. Fine. Then why don't you kiss him, Madame Curie? That face expression tells us all we need to know. True that. Okay, here's the deal. We'll meet after school in the park. The kiss has been rescheduled for after school in the park. You might as well get it over with right now. Yeah, a quick pucker, a peck, and we're out of here. The kiss is back on! Randall, the 90s version of Twitter. Also, where the heck did that megaphone come from? Wait a sec. Ashley Q held the flower petals in her left hand and threw them, but that was the second throw just now. Did she grab petals off one of the Ashley's bouquets off screen for the first throw? Some mouthwash. Oh Let me go. You realize we'll probably have to get married after this. So, when's that wedding? Whoops, better get to class. Yeah, that just happened. To sum up the episode... The more you know. Fact time. Interesting note. TJ wears the same outfit he wears in this episode again in episode one stayed clean. Comment highlight. Oh, Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill, girl. Netflix and chill. Let me keep it real. Keep my girl. I'm your man. Take you out on trips from London to Japan. Kick Kong Fu, I ain't talking Jackie Chan. Put a movie on, we don't even understand. Uh. You, you ain't never wrong cause you with Mr. Right. And we, and we make love every single night. Uh, yeah, we just might. It was horrible. Their eyes get googly, their lips slurping and smacking. Comment that makes you think.
Comment that makes you laugh. And that's when it happened. <gasps> Wait a minute! You're telling us you saw Finster, the Finster, shopping in the supermarket? Like a normal person? I'm not buying it. I can't afford to. Actually, Spinelli's story could be true. I mean, teachers are human. Therefore, logically, they must eat, sleep, and presumably shop. Clearly, Miss Grokey's mind is on something else. Something besides our little school. No way! The only important place to teachers is their classrooms. Is it, Spinelli? I mean, have you ever asked yourself what teachers actually do when school's over? I thought they just sat at their desk real still until we come back. Nah, I always figured they worked out at a faculty gym somewhere. You think? Come on! Curious postulation. Wampin' Bobula!